Hey everybody, I'm Lance and welcome to my channel and welcome to the Artist Hood of the Traveling Pores collaboration. And this is a collaboration of artists doing traveling pours in different ways and I'm pouring with triplets today. <laughs> and no, I don't have three sexy assistants, though that would be nice. <laughs> but I'm using a three chamber acrylic makeup caddy to pour from. I'm showing you here that I like my paints a little bit thicker and you kind of want them a little bit thicker for this particular pour and they should bounce the way you saw that paint bouncing. There should be a kind of snap back and uh, you want it to be a little on the thicker side so that you retain some of the cool shapes and lines and composition of the design of the paint that's being poured out as you see here. Because when you go to stretch this around, you don't want to lose the integrity of these lines uh, that the design has made. So yeah, you want your paints on a, a little on the thicker side, and I'll talk a little bit about some ways you could use to get your paint to the desired thickness. Now I'm showing you this pour because this was my first attempt, and we sometimes learn things from our first attempt. And in this first attempt, I learned a few things. I learned that I think my paints were a little too thin, and as Kathleen Osmore would say, that 24 karat gold is a bit bossy, and there was a little too much of it, and it was kind of taking over. So you'll see in a minute, I'm just going to re-pour, pare down my colors a little bit, and be a little sparing with the 24 karat gold. Now, Leslie Onstad from Color Art just sent us out some vivid enamel tintable base in titanium white and black. So I decided to use the new vivid enamel white the way I would my deco art satin enamel along with my artist loft soft bodied white and some Floetrol to see if I would get the same kind of pillowy kind of cell reactive results. And I was actually really happy with what it did. If you might like to try out some of the new Vivid Enamel Tintable Base in black or white for yourself uh, from Color Art, I'm a Color Art affiliate. You could use my code LanceTravis622 and get a 20% discount off your entire purchase. I am loading the chambers of the acrylic makeup caddy now with my colors and as you can see I have pared down my colors to where I'm not using quite as many and I'm focusing on the blues and the greens and being a lot more sparing with the 24 karat gold and I even put a little bit of the uh, fire opal color in there and you'll kind of see some of that coming through in the final piece when you see it um, but I was much happier with this color combination and really happy with what, like I said, this white does uh, with the Vivid Enamel Tintable Base in there. Here is the piece after I'd stretched paint off of it. And you can see I'm giving the so-so hand gesture because I didn't really love it both compositionally and color wise, I felt like it's a little too busy. And obviously there's too much of the 24 karat gold. So lesson learned. And so that's why we've re-poured the caddy the way we did. So we're getting ready to pour out take two with the triplets.
you can see these paints are a lot thicker and I was very pleased with that. Uh, I had actually let the paints that I had that I did reuse sit out and I put little screens over the top of them and that actually helped them thicken up a little bit. And pouring over this painting, it was semi-dry and it was still a little tacky. And so that also kind of lent itself to, um, I think some of the way it was pouring slow, obviously, but also some of the kind of effects that I got actually. So, um, wasn't exactly what I set out to do, but in the end, I think it actually helped out as well to re pour over it. And I also uh, use a little bit of uh, Golden's Gloss Gel, and uh, that also helps to thicken up your paints a bit. So I had mixed up some of my paints with a little bit of that in it, and most of the paints were just mixed with Floetrol but a couple of prism pour paints were mixed with um, Liquitex pouring medium. But um, I was definitely pleased with that. Now, my friend Jamie from Jamie Created That does really beautiful traveling pours, and they're very aquatic and like under the sea looking, and you should check her out. And she also has a video on how to thicken up your flow trawl. So kind of an interesting short little video on how to to thicken up your flow trawl so that it acts kind of a little bit more like mix and no mix was used in any of my paints or anything in this painting but you can see here how slow uh, this this paint is moving and you have to be a little patient with that because you want it to, to be thick so that I can move it down the canvas and get a little bit off wherever I need to get it off but then when it pulls back it retains its shape. It has a little bit more elasticity to the design and retains its shape better. So you just have to be patient and listen to, you know, feel the weight of the paint, see where your paint is and just kind of be patient and it will eventually get down the canvas where you need it to and uh, you'll see that here, but it is definitely a lesson in patience. wanted to take this time to mention that this is a collaboration and it is the artist hood of the traveling pours and I'm doing this collaboration with some really amazing artists that are very diverse a very diverse group and it is Garrick of Garrick Brown studio and Teneva Baker of Teneva Baker art and design Sheldon of Shell Rock art Manon Pettit of Manon Pettit Art and Britta Clayton of Britt Clayton Design. And I'll leave all the links to the artist's videos in my description box. Please check everybody's videos out. Uh, this is gonna be a really, really interesting collaboration with some great art and I'm sure very different takes on the traveling pour.
Now, if you're enjoying this video or finding it entertaining or informative, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and ring the bell so you'll be alerted when I upload new content and give me a thumbs up. Now, I really love the cool and unusual shapes and kind of cell formations that I got in this pour, and this is much more interesting to me than the, and much more graphic in kind of its composition and design than the first pour. And obviously I don't have all that bossy uh, 24 karat gold all over the canvas, so <laughs> that also helps. But like I was saying, the, the Vivid Enamel Tintable Base from Color Art really did some cool things with the white and uh, I was really really pleased with that and I'm calling this piece Icarus because it sort of reminds me of wings and feathery looking shapes and kind of for some reason Icarus just kept popping in my head that uh, story uh, the myth of Icarus flying too close to the Sun and then the wax wings um, melting and then he fell into the sea and so I feel like that's just kind of what it reminded me of but I really do love too the greens and you can see all the sparkle and that midnight prism pour color in that blue is really really beautiful and the green flash from folk art is also really beautiful and I just love these shapes and kind of almost how watercolor like the blending and the kind of volume that has been given to these shapes it's just really really uh just different i think and that's what i kind of like about these traveling pours they're um they really when they're stretched out the designs are, are very unusual and uh you should try it for yourself it's a lot of fun and uh i enjoyed doing this and i learned some stuff myself along the way <laughs> and that's what it's really all about and as you can see there, you see that that really beautiful shimmer and sparkle, and I love that area up there. Um, that's so beautiful; it almost looks like you're looking out into space. And uh, yeah, just uh, very pleased with my second attempt with the triplets. And <laughs> I really enjoyed using my um, three chamber makeup caddy to do this. I thought it it uh, made for some interesting designs and uh, let me know in the comments what you think. Be sure to check out Britta Clayton of Britt Clayton Designs video up next after me. And I wanna thank you for hanging with me through my traveling poor adventure with the triplets. And please come back and visit me again soon for some more fun pouring together.